let's talk about priests. Um, in priests, I wanted to push like the death rattle synergy really hard. I wanted to push dragons spell casting, and uh, I want to push. Maybe you'll see. Yeah, uh, speaking of Death Rattles, I think Death Rattles deck are really underpowered. Like, it could be a way, like, if you push Death Rattle deck to, like, slow down the meta. Because, basically, compared to Battlecry deck, Death Rattle deck are slower by one turn. And one turn in wild is basically 20% of your game. <laughs> so, I don't know, I just think Death Rattle are neat. And they are the kind of deck that could use a little help, you know? So Death Foretaste, 1 mana Shadow Spell, uh, deals 3 damage to your hero and trigger all friendly Death Rattles. So I always find it funny that uh, Priest doesn't have a way to trigger Death Rattle directly, except by like killing the board. I find it very bad. So like it's 1 mana cheaper than, uh, ra than Raise It, than uh, Feign Death, and it has the Raise the Defect attached to it, but I think it's Priest, it's okay. Like, it's Shadow, because maybe you can use some Benedictus Death Rattle deck. I tried it, it was really fun. And yeah, I just think it's really neat. Again, if you want more details, go look at the, the file. The little file. The big file, sorry. Actually, pretty big file. Experience Cleric. So when I said I had some other synergy I wanted to push. Uh, the Experience Cleric. 2 mana, 2, 3. Your healing effect also gives affected minion plus one health. So it's basically the life steed, you know, the elemental, the 4 mana 3 6 that came out in the Dark Moon Races miniset. But have the cost, have the stats almost, and uh, have the effect. It's better. It's better in all the ways possible because in a deck where you want to capitalize on a health minion, like meaning decks where you can use Divine Spirit, Inner Fire, or just having a deck relying on big minions on the board, having a lot of health that cannot be cleared. You want cards to be as cheap as possible. I mean, in general, you want cards to be as cheap as possible. And I think that halving the effects and all the numbers, basically on the other one, makes it into a pretty good card. Like, I wouldn't go as far as to say that it's insane, but it's pretty good. At one mana, it would have been completely broken, I tried it. I mean, I try to make it one mana, but I find it way too good. But again, we have Voided as Attendant in Priest, so maybe, why not? Eric, we talked about this. Uh, in Priest, you have way less way of targeting yourself with uh, spells. But you can target your minions, and you have way more uses of that. Uh, as we talked about Inner Fire, Divine Spirit, stuff like that, uh, I didn't see a way where I could abuse this in an Inner Fire deck. Maybe. But like, you can smite it, you can smite a minion, and then Divine Spirit Inner Fire and stuff like that. But then again, this is a legendary. So you're gonna have to cycle through a deck really quickly to get it. I don't see a way to break this really. It's breakable, it's really breakable. But I don't see a way to do it now. And, call it up. So we talked about the dragon, the enlightened drake. For mana 3-5, part of Cry discover a spell from your deck. If you have enough mana to play it, cast a copy of it. Uh, in dragon decks, like we had this uh, really cool... Uh, how was it called? It was like Prophet Velen, uh, Mind Blast deck, stuff like that. Reduce the cost of minions, reduce the cost of spell. Cast Mind Blast with Velen, or like with spell power. And yeah, just in general, I think this could push like maybe a return to the uh, dragon version of uh, Reno Priest. I can't believe I'm saying that I want Reno Priest back, but it's better than what we have now. And to be fair, I know the, the patch is coming nerf buff, uh, probably the Warlock ban. Yet I still think this card is pretty good. Raised it is not gonna get hit. I know that. If Raise it is not gonna get hit, but if you discover raised it from this, like you're gonna cast a copy of raised it, and this is busted, absolutely busted, because you can play the raised it afterward too. That's really good. Bottled essence, uh, one mana spell, shadow spell from priest and rogue. 
So Rock and Priest have a lot of synergies where it's uh, around Death Rattles, of course, and uh, other stuff that you all see. But for now, it's a one mana spell that summon a 1 1 copy of a friendly Death Rattle minions and add another one to your hand that costs ones. So basically, it's some kind of card like uh, Adorable Infestation, but like you don't get the buffed. You don't get the buffed uh, plus one plus one, but it's because you have Death Rattle minions, so they already have a good effect. And having multiple copies of them with like Death Fortes that we talked about earlier, or like other way to proc Death Rattles, in Rogue for example, we'll talk about that afterward. Hey, it's pretty good. <laughs> Again, I like it. Like if you play one mana Death Rattle on the board, you coin this. It's really good. But Romanu, we don't have one mana Death Rattle. Hmm. Ah, wait, that's the wrong one. Ah, no. Well, you'll see. Uh, <laughs> that's the wrong one, Romanu. The Burning Knight. I, I put in the wrong one. Oh my god. Uh, normally, it deals 3 damage to a minion for 2 mana, and it costs 1 if you use your hero. This one, I didn't like it. Uh, it was the second latest version. But you can look at that. Let's look at that. Deal 5 to a minion and cost 1 less for each time you use your hero power this game. Is it busted? Not really, because it's 2 minions. Uh, it's gonna cost five. Re it's gonna cost zero. But sorry, quickly if in the good deck. Uh, but yeah, it felt quite underwhelming as three mana. I wanted to push even mage a bit more. There is that. Oh, fallen priestess Elysia. Your heal power fully heal minions or kill them if needed. Uh, what does that mean? Your heal power, either your full heal minion. Or if your hero power deals damage, so for example, you have with the Shadow Four, always like a knock and eye uh, effect, meaning that your heal effect actually kill minions. It's, it's basically going to do the same thing. Like fully healing a minions when your healing does damage means basically the, killing it. And oh, I didn't think about that, but that actually makes it so why it works. Ah, I'm so smart. Dude. <laughs> or kill them if needed. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, I had it basically as like an epic before, like switched between, uh, like depending on what your hero was. And I like it, like I think it's better like that. Uh, I had it as this 5 health at the beginning. Might have been a bit too much because like you could full heal this one again and again and again and again. I don't know. I think as 2 mana 1 for it's pretty pog. Okay. Nazat Assassin. 2 mana, 2 1. Okay. Reborn. Okay. Death Rattle. Deal 2 damage to an undamaged enemy. Oof. That's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot, I know. Uh, I had it as 3 mana for most of the time. Or like the, the number twixt a bit. But like it felt too bad as 3 mana. Like I was like, this 3 mana really? You know, like, eh. Let's make it two. Let's make it two. We're playing wild with Death Rattles. Let's make something busted. Actually, I actually think this is really good because Death Rattle deck has the weakness of uh, over aggressive decks. And by playing that, if the. Uh, the uh, sorry, the enemy hero is already damaged, you're gonna damage only minions with this. That's really good. Uh, I didn't want it to only damage minions because, like, you could use that in a proactive way in an aggressive deck. It would still be good. Uh, it would deal two damage to an enemy to uh, the hero on the first part, so like a leopard gnome. But yeah, I think I'm honestly like all the synergies are really mixed well together. I like the reborn and the throttle part and deal two damage to non damage enemy. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, I should have written a random enemy, not that I think about it, because it's Death Rattle. But hey, I made all the cards by myself, uh, I'm a bit tired. I, I'm already tired, dude. But yeah, that's pretty good, I like it. Maybe a bit, like, too much stats for what it does, but it's neat. The Baiting Whelp. Uh, one on a one two dragon, Death Rattle, draw a dragon. Neat. So... 
As one mana cards go, we have a lot of one mana cards on Battlecry draw something. So I had this one as a 1-1 one -one at the beginning with Death Rattle and I was like, dude, come on. Uh, Death Rattle, you can put it as a 1-2. If we have Cobalt Labrarian in the game, why, why can't I have a 1-2 that draw a card on Death Rattle? And it's baiting because like when you kill it, you have a bigger dragon that come back. <laughs> Duh. Like in, if you look uh, in the in the background, like there is Dragon Eye. So yeah, that's neat. <laughs> but yeah, dragons in Priest could use like the consistency and the boss presence, and this does basically everything. Uh, soldiers of the Void. Oh, did I have this card yet? Oh, wait. Did it. False alarm, this is good. This is the one I want to. Uh, so, Soldier of the Void. 8 mana Shadow Spell. 8 mana Ramanu. Where are you gonna play that? In Arena? Discover a Death Rattle minion and summon it. You repeat the effect until the total cost of all Death Rattle minions you summoned excess 12. I wanted a card that could, uh, like, be the uh, Call of the Wild in uh, Spiteful Priest. And I wanted the 8 mana Shadow Spell because I wanted to do a Spiteful Benedictus Priest. I don't know if I can play it, I'll play it in casual, okay? Uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think the effect is good. Like, you raise, like, you summon Death Rattle minions back from. You summon Death Rattle minions back from the dead. And not really back from the dead, but like Death Rattle minions. So you have an army until the cost excess something. You know, that's like cost manipulation in Priest is something that we're gonna see a lot, but like not always reducing, but like if the cost is above or like under something, you have an extra effect. We've seen that with Call of the Grave, the one mana spell from the latest expansion. And know that never gonna play that, but uh, maybe like it can be really good in the deck it's good in. <laughs> Reflecting light. Okay, okay. Two mana holy spell. I needed to make some holy spell. Given in plus two plus two. Meh. Repetible this turn for each character healed this turn. Repetable, sorry, for each character healed this turn. So remember the time when we have extra arms? When we had extra arms at uh, at two mana? Well this is him now. Feel all yet? Yeah, basically I think this is like the balanced version of the card. Like extra arm at two mana, it was busted in priest. We can all agree on that. Would it be busted today? I don't know. But like, I wanted something that said if you heal this turn, have an extra effect. And this is actually having an extra effect for each character you heal this turn. So like, if you used your your power or like a circle of healing, it would have a whole different effect. Combining this with like uh, cost manipulation, for example, the Radiant Elemental, you can give a lot of stat to your minions. And I think this goes well in the deck it's for, you know, some kind of heal, uh, combo priest, something like that. It's neat, I just like it. Mind render Ilivizar. Ilvizar, sorry. Battle Cry, oh sorry, it's a 3 mana 3 3, dual class for priest and rogue. Battle Cry, discover a card your opponent played last turn. Combo, it costs 3 less this turn. So, um. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I I like it. It's like you know, uh, if you you can compare this to uh, Madame Lazul, obviously, but the comparison is that if you play that, it means that your opponent already played a card. If it was uh, your opponent game winning card, well, playing that wouldn't do anything because your opponent was already won. With my render with uh, Lazul, you can get a copy of this winning card that is in your opponent's hand for most of the game. This is more of a tempo card, if you look at it. It's like a mix between tempo and control and value card. Everything that costs under three, you can have it for free yourself with a three three. And you can discover one of the cards your opponent played last turn. And in this meta, your opponent play a lot of cards. So, I don't know, I don't think it's neat, like the Burgle style for both Priest and, uh, and Rogue. Yeah, and we have, I mean, I have uh, a good neutral card that goes well in the Burgle uh, 
in the Bogron category. So look out for that. The Repower Throne, we talked about the Repower Throne. In Priest, it doesn't have as many uses, you know, as the, the other one. But we can have it with like the Shadow Boxer. You know that card that got uh, that card that got nerfed when they printed the Iliax? Because like it's whenever a character is healed, it was back in the day, whenever a character is healed, deal one damage. But this would mean that if your opponent didn't have anything on board, and you attach the Iliax to the Shadow Boxer, and the Shadow Boxer will deal damage, it would have the life deal effects proc, so that it would deal one damage, but then the life deal would uh, you resume and again and again and again. Basically, you OTK your opponent. Uh, it's nerfed to only minions now, but yet it's still a mech, and you can still give it life steal, and it gi it can give you more value than uh, a normal mech. And yet we have like as I talked about the magnetic mechanic with a lot of neutral uh, mechs. So maybe if you want to play mech priests, go ahead, dude. Have fun. Wild is for that too. Galakron did ah okay Galakrons I love Galakron all the the class the five class are gonna get a Galakron card so basically you're gonna have some uh, dual class card too and between rogue and priests like getting minions in your head I wanted something to do with that so a two mana two three battle cry discover an invoke card from another class mm -hmm. combo also reduce it cost by two so basically you could discover a card that says invoke Galakron. That's it, from another class that is not your own. So you're going to have four other class, and you're going to have one for uh, for each, but like for only three choices. So you're going to have one class that you aren't going to discover from. I was thinking about making it so that it only discover from a Warlock, Warrior, and Shaman, because like it's a dual class card. But when you think about it, some dual class card, a discover card, don't have this restriction, so why would this one have it? But anyway, uh, it would be it's quite clunky to have uh, an invoke card from another class because the effect wouldn't be as good. For example, if you take the ritual chopper, right, the warrior weapon, uh, you're just gonna have a, a two mana one two weapon that gives you a minion in hand. That's not really good. So that's why I made the combo also reduce the cost by two so that it can mitigate the negative effects. Basically, I think the design is neat. Uh, that's, uh, I don't know, I, I like it, it's, uh, what can I say, I'm just a car design genius. <laughs> and that's it, so yeah, next up we're going to talk about Rogue, and Rogue we have a lot of stuff to talk about. So let's talk about Rogue. Uh, in Rogue, I have, like Rogue is a really cool class because like, uh, the team, the design team, went for a lot of different routes. Uh, within the years, and that has the negative effect of well, some synergy just don't have enough support to see play in wild. So this is what I wanted to do. Like I'm pushing shuffle mechanics, death rattle mechanics, a bit of pirates. Uh, I don't remember. Death rattle, secret synergy, stealth synergy, uh, and stuff like that. So. First card, 1 mana 2 1 pirate. Treasure Seeker, Buttercry, draw a card that didn't start in your deck. Hmm, pretty good. So, the card you can compare this with is like the Stowaway, which is 5 mana. Okay, 5 mana is a lot. Shuffle cards? Oh, come on, dude. <laughs> come on, dude. <laughs> Let me play Shuffle Rogue, okay? Uh, it's a 1 mana 2 1 that draws a card, but then you have to invest the mana to, uh, to gain it. So, no, it's not a Cobalt Librarian, don't tell me that. But like in the good situation, it is, and that's good because maybe you have some good shuffle effect. Who knows? I know, but uh, you don't. <laughs> next up, up ah, next up, I said computer. Thank you. The bounty is on. Two mana secret dual class between a rogue and a hunter. What? Secret after a friendly minion dies, summon a three three tracker with stealth. So basically it's like, your minion is dead, I'm putting a bounty to revenge it! And yet the tracker takes the bounty. Um, in Rogue, like, you have a secret that say when a friendly minion dies, you return it to your hand and like we reduce its cost by two, something like that. And I think that's okay, but Rogue has the problem that you just don't have board presence. 
right? You just don't have more presence. So by making something that summons a minion, you actually have both presence now, so that's pretty cool. And uh, you're gonna see one other card that has secret synergy, and that's actually synergized with this quite well, I'd say. Shady Contract, legendary spell for rogue, one mana, shadow spell, with tradable. Okay, Romanu, what are you doing? Deal one damage. Okay, that's okay. After you play your first combo card this turn, return this to your hand. So what does that mean? It means that you can't abuse that in Pillars or Rogue. Yes, I know, because I put the little word first uh, on, the, on the back of combo. Uh, if it was return this card after you play a combo card, it would be absolutely busted. We all know that. But this is pretty good. Like, in this way, you deal one damage. It's like a contract, you know. Your opponent never know, uh, is not going to know when you're going to do this. Because, like, you trade it, you trade it, and path. And because you're in the shadow, you can come back and, uh, like, do another job and stuff. And I think it's fitting because the little guys actually look like scabs from the back. <laughs> so <laughs> I think it's fitting to have it tradable and Stormwind. But yeah, I like it. It was intended for the Miracle-style Rogue deck that I keep talking about. The one using the Octobot, Edwin Van Cleef, Foxy Frode. All the good combo and battle cry cheat card that we have in Rogue. And you know, just try to cheat mana, make some huge board, get a lot of value, stuff like that. With Edwin Van Leaf too. And yeah. Basically that's it. Uh you can trade it if you don't need it. Maybe tradable is too much. I think the effect is neat. Next. Entitled Illusionist. Death Rattle. Summon a copy of a random friendly minion that dies after it takes damage. So basically it's like the Gentis effect that you give on one of the two minions, but like you can't control which one of the two because it's Death Rattle. But I really wanted to make a four mana Death Rattle to go with like the new spell we had and like basically every other Death Rattle rock card we had in the past. Like they were all so good, but we never had a way to, to make it like really good, you know, Death Rattle push them. And I think that's neat. Uh, like it's it's entitled because even after it leaves the scene, it's it still try to uh, like to to make an illusion. <laughs> that, that's pretty good, I think. I think that's like design wise it's pretty good. Uh it I had it at a five four. Before, but like that's really poor creeping uh, piloted shredder and uh, no I just think that's that's okay if you play it in death rattle deck the minion summon also has death rattle so it goes well I think it's like a, I really I really like it it's one of my favorite cards from the set and yeah uh oh two and a two three grimy gnome combo your next combo effect this turn triggers twice Hmm, interesting. So yeah, Grimmy Gnome, Foxy Throat, the, the parallel between the stats too, it's still 2 mana, it uh, affects the next combo effect you use. Yeah, that's the point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Congrats. <laughs> that's the point. And uh, so yeah, I wanted again for this Miracle style deck, right? Uh, Spirit of the Shark always felt a bit too slow in this kind of a deck. Maybe I'm wrong, but uh, that's what I felt. So I wanted like a cheaper version. Maybe for only one effect then. I could have made like Unique Battle Cry or Combo Effect this turn trigger twice. Or make it just a Battle Cry. Like Battle Cry Unique Combo Effect triggers twice. But uh, yeah, I not, I like it like that. Simple, yet quite powerful in the certain situation. I'm rolling with this. Ends of the Assassin, we talked about that. But in Rogue, we have way more use for that. Uh, in Rogue, you can proc its Death Rattle a lot of the time. You can summon copies of it a lot of the time. You can get the you can copy the Death Rattle with like the Raptor. Anyway, in Rogue, you have a lot of way to to use that. And yeah, I just think for like an aggro aggro Death Rattle, I know, but like it's a two mana Reborn Death Rattle, so it goes really well with the Undertaker because the Reborn uh, part also have Death Rattle. Uh, I like it a lot, so maybe, maybe this is, this was the point, right? To make it good with Undertaker, and just to push Death Rattle in general. 
Dispersing Rifle. Okay, so what is happening on your screen? Srimana Legendary between Rogue and Hunter. It's a weapon. Srimana 3 to weapon. Okay. Combo. Shuffle a beta into your deck for each card you've played this turn. When drawn, summon a 4 to Alpha with Rush. Basically, you know, it's like this, uh, this rifle hunters have. Like when you use it, all the animals disperse. But like in this case, like all the beta members disperse and they just go and find the, the pack alpha of their, of their pack and they come back to, to bite you. Uh, but like, this time they're on your side. So the alpha like are four twos with rush. And I think this is just a neat shuffle effect, right? The, the problem we had with shuffle effect in Rogue is that, well, we just, like it was just too low tempo. Okay, you build a board. But like, if your opponent was on the turn of killing you, what are you going to do with like your 4-4 four, four spiders, for example? With this, they have rush, meaning that you don't rely on broom as often as you needed, as you wanted, sorry. And it's a weapon, so you have the tempo on the first part too. I think that's pretty good. Yep. Bottle lessons. This is the wrong version. Normally it's one. Uh, sorry, I, I for the years, I copy-pasted all the image on each files, and sometimes I forgot to like make the new the, to put the new version on the on the dual class card on the other one. But yeah, it's one mana normally. Uh, summon a one-one copy of friendly Death minions and put another one-one in your hand. It's reminiscent like you know uh, Uncad Buried that made Death Rattle cost one. Well, this is why I put it like that also, and like bottled essence, you know, like small. Small soul, compacted souls. Pretty fun. So that's why it's a 1 1 cost 1. Uh, in Rogue, you have a lot of ways to use that. Uh, I know you do. Uh, like just Death Rattle Rogue, right? In Death Rattle Rogue, you want as many Death Rattle as possible. You want them as cheap as possible so that you can combo with uh, Baron, not Taran. The Shumana guy that eats all Death Rattle and that resummon them. Like maybe Umbra. Just a neat little spell. Mind from the Olive Ill Vizar. Again, this is not the, the good version. Normally the uh the it costs three less this turn is on the combo. But in Rogue you have the Burgles effect and you have everything that makes combo card cost one less cost two less, cost one less. Uh so that's pretty good. I'm sorry, I'm gonna for the next one I'm gonna gonna verify uh, if all the cards are good. And yeah, like you are not gonna get a real control deck in. But like a burgle deck is actually pretty fun. Like this kind of burgle tempo deck, this is basically the apogee of this. Like you want to like steal a card from your opponent, but you also want to get tempo on board. And I think this will just do the job really well. Okay. Uh, Witch Gnome Hunter, 3 mana 2 3, Battle Cry, do draw Death Rattle Minion. Okay, that's like Dungeoneer style. Its Death Rattle will trigger twice, so like it does not trigger now. Right? It's not sketchy information. It's like you draw a Death Rattle minion, and when you activate the Death Rattle of this minion, it will activate it twice. Every time. That's how I wanted to make it. Um, yeah. Just I wanted a minion to draw other minion in a minion deck. I don't know. It seems normal. If uh, Shaman can have draw for elementals, Hunter and Ro can have the row for Death Rattle, come on. <laughs> and triggering Death Rattle twice is something that both Rogue and Hunter do. I like it, I like it. It gives this uh, Dungeoneer vibes, like, but this time it's like going into the woods. I like it. Uh, 1 and a 1 3, SI 7 Contact. After you play Secrets, gain plus 1 attack and stealth. So, why would you want stealth just? the moment a secret is played? Well, two reasons for that. Uh, first off is that, well, just you get the plus one attack, okay. You're not forced to attack. In many situations, like, you want to attack, but in certain situations you don't, because, for example, your opponent will be able, like, to target the minions. Right? For, imagine you play against a mage or something like that, uh, you know that for them to complete their quest, they need to freeze your minion, but like by playing only stealth minions, you make it so they can't. Right? They can't. Basically, it's like the good comparison for this is the 1 mana 1 2 neutral that gain plus 1 plus 1. 
And I think that gaining stales is also quite good. Yes. Next up is 2 mana spell, 7 strike for both uh, Rogue and Hunter. Deal 2 damage to minion, combo, draw a 2 cost card. 2, 2, 2, 2, 2. two. That's the point. Uh, I had it as 1. 1 every, every time. Uh, no, uh, because I designed this before we got the questline. And yeah, I don't want to buff Questline Hunter, please no. <laughs> uh, we know that Hunter is going to get buffed, not nerfed in the next patch, meaning that Ost Questline is going to be prevalent, I think, if Warlocks are still around. And uh, yeah, 2 mana deal 2, okay, 2 mana deal 2, draw a specific card better. Uh, you can play that in aggro decks. You can play that in aggro decks, but like between Garrote, Eviscerate, and Wicked Stab, do you want that in Rogue? Not sure. In, uh, sorry, in aggro Rogue. But you can play that in many other Rogue decks. Do you play that in Pillager? I'm not sure. You, I think you still want maybe Sheev, because uh, most of your combo pieces don't, don't cost two. So yeah, I think this is a card that is not for Pillager, not for uh, Odd Hunter. Hallelujah. Jade Assassin. So I talked about uh, Jade mechanics. So Shumana 3-2, Battle Cry, summon a Jade Golem, and combo, you give it plus one attack and stales. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, when you have a big boy, giving it stales is pretty good because your opponent is not going to be able to kill it. And yeah, that's the point. That's the point. No, it's not a death rattle when we know that death rattle rogue used to be a lot about death rattle in the past. Yes, it's still a good death rattle card. I didn't want to make a death rattle jade card, but this is really slow. Like we've seen how slow it is. And stealth with death rattle with jade, we, we already have that. So let's make it combo with stealth instead. And plus one attack and stealth. Like it's better than giving it plus one health. Because with tails, either it's gonna go face or like trade. And yeah, plus one attack is more valuable. Next up is the Calacon Spy, yay! In Rogue this time around. So you're gonna get cards, invoke cards that are gonna give you lackeys. So that's better than in Priest. We all know that the Priest Galacron is the worst one. <laughs> we, we all know that. Uh, but like, yeah. Imagine, like, not imagine, actually, if you look in your collection, you will see that most of the info card cost two or less, is your class card. Uh, like a lot of them cost two, sorry. Meaning that you have, because you're gonna have, sorry, because you're gonna have three class cards if you count this set, uh, and one of three every time is costed under two, basically you're gonna have one out of, out of three chance to get a zero mana invoke card from this. That's pretty good. So a 2-3, the invoke card plus the lucky. This is pretty good. We are starting to get something here. Uh, I don't know, would it push the um, the Pillager version with like the uh, the Galacron package? No. I don't know. The the new Pillager version is way too fast to, to care about Galacron. So yeah, it's just a fun card, you know, for fun deck. Galacron Rogue and Galacron Priest. Next up, Hunter. So, in Hunter, I wanted to push like this swarm uh, by playing a lot of tokens, synergy, death rattle synergies, and also secret synergy, and most importantly, beast that covers basically everything, and a bit of hunt buff too, because why not? I love hunt buff. The first off is a 4 mana 4 3 legendary, the Grand Weaver. It's a beast, and Battle Cry increase the side of your boy to 8 and summon 2 1 1 Hyenas with Rush. So, if you played Hunter, Token Hunter, you know that the board size is really. Mm, like, you always want that extra side, that extra space to summon an important minion like a, a Timber Wolf or like a Leoc, something like that. And yeah, I think that we've seen that we can increase the size of the hand. We've seen with like the, the Shadow Walk bug that the board is actually much larger than 7 space, <laughs> if, you, if you watch uh, any of Mark's videos. So yeah, I think that's, that's pretty good. Maybe for one eye is a bit too much, a bit too low, I don't know. Uh, I think it's a bit too much, maybe as 3 mana it would be better, 3 mana 3-3, three, three, what it does. 
Uh, but yeah, still, it's pretty good in these kind of token decks that want to go really wide and face. I like it. Why not know to one Tracker Worgen? Battlecry, the next secret you play will cast twice. Okay, so... Uh, you know Commander Risa, the Paladin Legendary? Uh, does the same thing, but better, but only for one secret, but that goes on curve. And that's really important, because it doesn't. it's not written the next secret you play this turn, but the next secret you play. Uh, in Hunter, you can't really afford in Secret Hunter, like, to wait and hold cards just to have them put in afterward. And you can, with the secret, when you know your opponent is going to play Zephyrus. But in general, you want to go on board as early as possible. And this is a good one drop for a deck that didn't really have a good aggressive one drop. You had the 1-1, one, one, or you had the 1-2, but that's it. Like, the other one drop you played were beasts that didn't synergize a lot in the deck. I think that's really good. It synergizes a lot with many, like, with just with many stuff, except misdirection. But, like, the explosive trap is 4 damage. Uh, with a uh, cat trick, it's 2 Penteras. Like, it's really good. I like it. Actually, proud of the design of this one. The bounty is on. So, yeah. Uh, in Hunter, this is, you know, you're gonna see that this is really similar to the card called Pack, pack Tactics. Yeah, that's Pack Tactics. The one that when your minion is attacked, uh, it's a minus 3 3 copy. So this is better in a spell meta. Spell meta because, uh, like in spell meta, your minions are never gonna get attacked. They're just gonna die by spells. And this procs by spells. So this is like a mix between the pack tactics and the cut trick. And I think this fits the role perfectly in Hunter. Honestly, like it's aggressively started. It has stealth, so it's always gonna go face most of the time. And yeah, okay, it's not a copy of the minion which you might have wanted, but like it would have been too good. It would have been no, it would have not been too good. It would have been a strictly better version of Pack Tactics, and I wanted something a bit different. Pack Runner Whip, two mana two two, epic weapon for hunter and warrior. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So yeah, boss class uses like damage effects. I think like you don't, you haven't seen that in Hunter yet. But I think, but well, it makes sense. You know, hunters like flaring and going after a trail of like it makes sense. And on this one, like when you attack a damage character, not minion, that character, you summon a one one hyena with rush. So basically, it's almost like a fiery Rorax, where you have one power onto a minion, and the minion has rush, so you can divert the power on something else. We both know, like you and me, we both know that it's worse than fiery Rorax. I couldn't make a fiery Rorax. But yeah, that's the, the whip that the Cold Car Pacrono is using. That's why it's uh, summoning one one high enough with rush. Ooh, two mana one one mech. Eh, not very really good. That's what will draw a mech. Okay, that's still worse than the uh, the neutral card. But give your minions in your give minions in your hand plus one plus one. What, Madu? Are you making a two mana bannerman? Yes. And yes, I want my two mana bannerman in hunter and uh, warrior. Okay, it's a death rattle. You can make it two mana. You lower the stats. You only draw a mech. Uh, you don't have a lot of good mechs. Like you actually don't have good mechs in general. If you watch, uh, if you follow me, you know that I don't play mech in Hunt Buff uh, Warrior. And in Hunter, you have actually good mechs in Death Rattle decks. But Hunt Buff Hunter doesn't exist. I think that's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. Uh, I'm just thinking that the M should be upped here. That's okay. And yeah, I actually think it just needs, right? It's slow. It's a mix between the. Um, like Loot Harder and the Bannerman. Uh, it's efficient for what it does, but it doesn't provide board presence, and that's important. And yes, in Hunter, you can like do this multiple times because it's a Death Rattle. So actually, like activating this Death Rattle twice has the bonus effect of the first minion you're gonna draw is gonna get buffed twice. That's pretty neat. Gun fishing. Okay, that's one of the most powerful cards I made the set. Four mana spell. Choose an enemy minion and summon three one one piranhas to attack it. 
Two one ones, that's okay. After one dies, give your other beast plus one attack. Four mana fireball that can buff your beasts for plus three attack. Oof. Yeah, that's the idea is a mix between Arbor Rep and Bees for a bow spell on, uh, in Druid, actually, when now that I think about it. And yeah, that's the idea. Like, you have a swarm of piranhas, and when they kill it, the other gets uh, a bit stronger and all. I, I, I like the idea. I like the idea. It's probably undercosted. It could be 5 mana, maybe 6, but 5 mana I think would be better for this. But I don't know, you know, Beast Hunter, one of my favorite deck ever. Let's give it uh, a little push. Maybe two little pushes. 6 mana, legendary for dual class Hunter and uh, Warrior. 6 mana, 2 6 Dragon. Battle Cry, destroy all enemy minions with attack lower than these minions. Wow. So basically, it's uh, like uh, the Mossy Horror, I think that's the name. But uh, you can buff it in Hunter and uh, Warrior. And by buffing it, like you make the effect target many more minions. Maybe that's too strong, maybe it's undercosted, maybe the stats are too high for 6 mana. But I think that's pretty good. If you play Dragon, if you play a 6 mana card, most of all, you can at least have it make it have a good effect. And I think that's a really good effect. Reminding of Samuro, so that's good. <laughs> it's a dragon. A dragon would have been nice if we have something else for that. Hand party. Uh, two mana spell, twin spell. Summon it to wolf. So it's a beast. And if your opponent has more minions, give it plus one attack and rush. Um, it's like the same effect that is applied to spreading plague. And um, basically, it's like a tool for Hunter to keep the ball consistently, right? You use the first part, uh, if you have more minions, you have a 3-2 with Rush, which is pretty good, because 2 mana deals 3 damage. Or even like if you manage to kill the board and keep the 3-2, it's okay. I don't know, it's just a neat spell, I think. Uh, I wanted the twin spell for Hunter, for Beast Hunter specifically, to actually... Uh, like still have something in hand if you don't have the buzzer, because like if you don't have buzzer today in spell hunter in spell hunter in beast hunter you don't do anything. Like by doing this you at least have some other stuff to do. Dispersing rifle we talked about that and it's actually pretty good in hunter too, because like you love rush right you love rush you love shuffling beast in your deck that's actually fun. Uh, you can actually discover. The, the beta spells in your deck. Like we, we looked at the, uh, at the beta spells, I don't have it them, I don't have them here, but if you come back to Rogue, we have them. And uh, yeah, basically you can discover them from your deck in Hunter a lot more consistently. And pff, I don't know, it just, it feels, it fits Hunter. It, it has more use in Rogue, I know, but in Hunter, like shuffling beasts in your deck, like you do this quite a lot. Just three mana, three two weapon, effective. You might not be able to play as many cards as in Rogue, but if you do, great for you. So the Witch Gnome Hunter, we talked about that too. Uh, in Hunter, like having a way to draw a Death Rattle minion is really something that was needed actually. When you look at Death Rattle Hunter, like either it being the Tonk version or like the Agro version, you don't have a way to draw Death Rattle minion specifically. And by doing that, imagine this on the Tonk. Yep, Tonk. Well, you're gonna deal 16 damage. That's insane. 16 damage uh, by triggering the bottom cry. And you can trigger it multiple times. We all know how Hunter does it. I just, it's just neat. It's just neat. Like drawing cards in Hunter is not something that we do often. So, yeah, good. Alpin Foxlin, 2 mana 2 2 beast, battle cry, and death rattle reaches the cost of a random beast in your hand by 2. Ooh, la, 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 ooh, la, la. No, that's not 2. That's not 2. That's 1, normally. Oh, <laughs> that's not. <laughs> no, 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 that's not 2. That's 1. Uh, okay, I didn't see that. That's 1. Only, uh, my mouse ran this. 1. Uh, at 2, it would be to bust it, of course. But at 1, it's like basically a free uh, 2 mana 2 2 beast. In a deck where you have a lot of beats, it's really good. So I'm thinking about Beast Hunter. I'm thinking about even some kind of Death Rattle 
hunter too that would like to reduce the cost of certain beasts uh and yeah like you can make the death rattle multiple times that's why i didn't want like just to have battle cry reduce the cost of the next beast it would be too much like foxy fraud and i know foxy fraud is a good card but uh, come on yeah i just think it's neat uh maybe you put it as a three as a three two maybe you put it as a three two actually like three two but only discount by one on battle cry and the throttle uh yeah sorry for the mistake here again <laughs> but hey i'm a simple human second strike so we talked about that you can't use that in uh, odd hunter and honestly we haven't seen good performance for from the non-odd version of the quest line so i think that's okay i think that's okay to give it that um but still in hunter you actually like that in even hunter maybe you actually like that in even hunter just to draw a two cost card you're always gonna have a two cost card in your deck you're playing even hunter after all like 28 out, out of the 30 cards or uh, two mana so yeah that's a good maybe face card that's a good um just a good card in general i think you can make make this into a lot of different decks just like a uh, swindle in a rogue right draw card effective you have that in a lot of decks scouting well when i was talking about dragons two mana three two dragon for hunter and warrior battle cry if there is a damage enemy draw a dragon That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, two mana, three two with an upside that of tutoring a certain card. Uh, I like it. Like it's scouting when it found a, a prey. Like it's called on the other dragons. Design is good. Uh, I had it as a one mana two one at the beginning, and I was like, maybe that's too much. Let, let let's keep it as a two mana three two. And again, we're playing well, so why not? But just, I think something like that could be really good. In both Hunter and Warrior, you have some really insane dragons. Like, some really insane. Either it being, like, the 5-mana Destroy minion from Hunter, or, like, the Scion of Runes. In a Warrior, you have some insane dragon that you just can't use because you don't have the row in these decks. So this is a nice piece. So let's see if we have something else afterward. The wall be weirder. 3-mana 2-2 two, two Beast. Rush. Okay. Battle Cry, summon a copy of this. Oh my god. Uh, yeah, the time of uh, 3 mana summon 2 2 twos is over, even for standard. So we can give it another keyword. Uh, the idea was that you can use this in Beast Hunter, you can use this in Hound Buff Hunter. Uh, yeah, Hound Buff Hunter. <laughs> it just has the rush mechanic, it's pretty good, it's a beast. It's like what happened when the Wolper uh, Tinger uh, mutates. <laughs> you give it rush, basically. Ah, oh, I like it. It's just yes, it's strong. I had it as a two one on the stats before, but nah, nah. Let's go all ahead. Three mana two two rush battle cry. Summon a copy of it. 